I remember working with my sister-in-law and she um, found a pen I had taken off her desk and she came and approached me about it and said, this is my pen, where does it go? And I'm like, on your desk? And she's like, no, it goes in the cup. And I'm like, okay. And that was the beginning of systems for me. So what you see here are all our tickets and they're color coded. Every day has a color. If a cake is before noon, it has blue on it. So when the decorators turn around and look, this is all for Friday, the green. So they can visually can look on their host schedule to see what they have left for that day. And then when they start working on Saturday cakes, they want to get all the morning ones done. Because we do work on Saturdays in those five hours we race the clock. So we have to be real careful of what we leave for the next day. So here you see all the cakes. The order forms are all sticking out so the artist can walk across and see what he has. Let's say he has five dinosaurs. Well, he wants to do all five dinosaurs at one time. Otherwise, he, he may do a dinosaur and then a doll and then a bear and it gets more confusing. So all their colors are made up for them by another staff member so that when the artists are standing here, they're ready to work and that they can keep their head in the game. Um, I supply them with all kinds of books. Uh, Jack Ham has written some really great books uh, about art and drawing. Um, my interviews with the staff are really intense, but I want to know what's inside their head and their heart, because if I can get that out, we will have a great company. And I think everybody's talented in one way or another. Everybody's creative. It's my job as the owner to put them in the right place and let them flourish there and enjoy being at work. So we have a record of 200 cakes on a weekend with one mistake. Our theme is do it right the first time, on time, every time. And that little system, everybody will say, you know, if I say do it, they all know the sentence. So that has helped us because the baker could catch a mistake. There's so many systems that they go through. Every time you read your order, I could catch the icer's mistake. The boxer can catch the decorator's mistake. A cake should not get to the counter with a mistake. And that's sometimes hard for the front people to have to come back and tell the artist that they did it wrong. But that's their job. And so I've taught them in relationships how to be able to do that and stand up for this company. Because that's what they're doing. They're talking about Julie's Cakes. And we do have a name and people love us. Noble Drive, six hours or more to come to us. We just actually got a lady from Australia that called to order a cake for somebody else. And so we want to keep that. That's what it's about is Julie's Cakes and the good product that we have. Mm -hmm.